a lot of people who say September is their favorite month in Maine, and today is one of those reasons why. I think so. You just have a little bit of everything. You have enough sun, it keeps you warm, yep. but the breeze cools you down. And yep. No humidity. No humidity. Some of the trees are starting to change, just especially up into western and northern Maine, yeah. so a little, little uh, foreshadow. Yes. That we fall, all know what's coming. Fall is officially next week, middle yeah. of the week, I think. So, yeah. uh, but it's it's there. We already we know it's out there. Yeah, we do know. <laughs> but it's good. It's uh, it's a nice transition. It's nice when we actually have these smooth transitions instead of these abrupt ones that all of a sudden come in and you think, oh my goodness, how are we having all these changes of seasons here? We are looking at a really nice and comfortable day. It is breezy, but the sun is shining, and while temperatures are cooler than average, we do have that nice warm sun to get us going a little bit more. So it's that fine balance of needing the jacket, not needing the jacket. We're kind of in that space. So we will have this taste of fall through Saturday with the showers do return heading into later Sunday and Monday. Temperatures are really comfortable right now. Averages, we should be around the 70, 71 degree mark. And most of us are sitting into the mid and lower 60s at the coast. Much cooler as you head to the north. Of course, the mountains cold, colder and holding in some of that cooler air mass. 51 as you make your way toward Greenville, 57 into Berlin, 62 right now in Freiburg. So the dew point, though, is what we feel the most. We've actually lost our colors because it's much cooler. But yesterday when we were talking about the dew point, it was 58, 60, and I said, wait till tomorrow. Yeah, it's 30s. So it's so dry out there. It really feels good to have the window open. You're not worried about humidity, and we really won't be worried about that for a while now. Not too many clouds, a little bit into the high terrain, which is pretty typical when we have these stronger wind flows out of the west and northwest. A broader look does show that we have a system out to the Midwest, and this kind of meanders here and dilly dallies doesn't really move very quickly, but once it does, that's what's really going to affect us into the latter part of the weekend. So temperatures continue to move through the 60s today, 50s during the overnight, 40s likely by the time you're waking up tomorrow. Another cooler bus stop. I know the kiddos wrote to me this morning saying, can I have my winter jacket? <laughs> I think I need that today. Yeah, it's a little cool in the morning, especially when you factor in the breeze component. So we are going to start off cooler again tomorrow. We are going to see those temperatures get a little bit warmer back to around 70 at the coast and moving into the first part of your weekend. Yeah, cool start for your Saturday morning. Saturday should be pretty good. We bring in some clouds later in the day Saturday. No shower activity expected except for extreme northern Maine for Saturday and then Sunday we start to bring in some more of those clouds and showers, but it really won't be more persistent until Sunday night and probably into Monday as well. So Sunday morning plans still looking OK. Could be some stray showers Sunday afternoon. I'd really keep a closer eye on the radar. So highs today, like I said, just below that 70 degree mark, a little bit below average, much cooler as you make your way into the higher terrain areas on the water today. Seas are at two to three feet water temperature of 60. And we have a small craft advisory in effect until this evening. Seven day forecast, a little bit of fall, a little bit of some cooler air and of course the rain. So Sunday afternoon, that's when we start to bring in those showers and they may be steady, especially into the mountains first, and then they'll move to the coastline. We can get some more showers expected for Monday. They actually may linger into Tuesday. But remember, when we get these dry stretches like we're seeing today and tomorrow and Saturday, we need some rain to counterbalance it a little bit. So it does touch a part of the weekend, but for the most part, it's into next week. Yeah, not too many, not too much to complain about in that one. Really, it's it's I, I don't want to say perfect because everyone <laughs> has their own subjective yeah. feel on that. But for me, it's pretty perfect. Thanks, Mallory. <laughs> yeah.